Our history of Earth notes include how we know about our past. So one way to get a glimpse into our past is uh, a method called relative dating. Okay, so it's relative, so it's not putting relative, so it's not putting an exact number on something, but it's saying, hey, that's relatively older than this rock, or this is the youngest rock. And there's a couple of laws that we use. So there's the law of superposition, meaning the rocks that are at the bottom, okay, are older than rock layers at the top. So in this case, the, the white rocks would be the youngest because they were deposited last. Alright, so the law of intrusions, or cross-cutting, excuse me, which is where we have faults or igneous intrusions like this, meaning that they are younger than all the rocks that they cut across because that means that it came in last. All right, and unconformity is missing rock layers due to erosion, things moving away. All right, so now we're going to determine the relative age of some of these rock layers. So the one on the bottom, that would be rock layer A. That is our oldest layer. The one on the top. That would be rock layer J. That is our youngest layer. All right, now let's look into a little bit more complicated things. All right, so let's see. Is the fault older or younger than letter D? So letter D is this little spotty layer right here. And the fault would actually be younger than letter D because see how it sits on top of rock layer D? All right, remember this is the law of cross-cutting. And then here we have law of superposition. All right, and then if you see over here, this looks like letter H is our igneous intrusion. And since this sits on top of the fault, our igneous intrusion is actually younger than our fault. And then look, I also see a special word, unconformity. Look, we have some missing rock parts due to erosion. All right, now at your seats, you're going to go through and answer these questions on these, uh, forming nonconformity, and just don't think too hard about them. You'll also be answering all these and determining which is older. Keep in mind, we're looking for the older rock layer of the two.